What's up guys? My name is Chase Ross and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to tow it bar spin. Let's jump right into this. My name is Chase, if you guys are new to my channel, and I like to film tutorials just like this one where I break the tricks down step by step so you guys can learn the tricks the fastest, easiest way possible. So before we get into this whip bar, I wanna go over a couple requirements first that we need to take before attempting the whip bar. For starters, let's make sure we got these helmets on. It's better safe than sorry, and you never wanna get hurt, so keep the helmet on. You're gonna thank me later. All right, now that we got the helmet on, we can move on to the next step. For starters, we wanna make sure that we have tail whips down perfectly. We wanna make sure that we can actually catch the tail whip every time. Now, if you guys need some help catching your tail whips, I would highly recommend checking out my tutorial above. You guys can click the card, and it'll take you right to my video on how to catch your tail whips. Now that we got the tail whips out of the way, let's move on to bar spins, the second half of the trick. Now with bar spins, you guys have to make sure that you guys can catch your bar spins, and preferably, do your bar spins late. If you're able to do a late bar spin, it's gonna make the trick so much easier. So again, if you guys do not know how to bar spin or would like to progress your bar spin game, I would click that card above and it'll take you right to my bar spin video. But now that we've got that out of the way, let's move on to step number one with learning how to whip bar. Moving right into step number one, we're gonna be focusing on the tail whip aspect to this trick. So you guys wanna make sure that you're able to catch your tail whips super fast and super high in the air. If you can kinda just do this, and then catch, you know you're on the right page. So what we're gonna do from this point right here is we're gonna focus on catching a tail up super high in the air. So what I wanna see you guys do is fly out of a ramp or air, do a tail up super fast, clearly before you land, and make sure that you can count the two before you actually land. Let me show you guys real quick. One, two. Now just like that, you guys can see that I clearly had enough room for a bar spin. So that's exactly what I want you guys to do. I wanna make sure that you guys can do your tail up, catch it, and make sure you guys have enough room. Now, just like with every other tail up, you gotta make sure you keep your tail really close to your body. You don't wanna be tail whipping out here. You wanna be tail whipping right underneath your body the entire time. It's gonna make the trick so much easier. But now that we got the tail whip step out of the way, let's move on to bar spins. When it comes to the bar spin part of the trick, we're gonna do the exact same thing we did with the tail whip, but now instead, we're gonna be doing it late. So we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did with the tail whip, and we're gonna count to two, and then send the bar spin. So instead of doing the bar spin, then counting the two, we're gonna count the two, one, two, and then bar spin. Now, you guys can do this air, fly out, or off of a drop to give you guys enough time to send the bar spin late. Now, being able to do your bar spins late is gonna be the hugest part to doing this trick because if you guys can build up the muscle memory of doing a late bar spin, it's gonna allow you guys to actually send the bar spin after the tail lift. Now, we're gonna break this down. We're gonna do a couple fly out, a couple air, and a couple drops that are late bar spins so you guys can get an idea of how this is gonna turn out. One, two, bar spin. One, two, bar spin. One, two, bar spin. Now that we got the late bar spins feeling pretty good, we are now ready to move on to step number three, which is gonna be combining the whip and the bar spin together. Now before we take it to the ramp, let's just focus on staying on the flat ground real quick. So let's not move to a ramp, let's just stay right here. What we're gonna do right here is we're gonna focus on keeping our front foot on the ground just like this. Now we're gonna lift our scooter up in the air, just like this. Now if you guys have seen my how to bar spin video, this will make a lot of sense, because in that video, I talked about how to do the bar spins, balancing just like this, to make sure that you're comfortable with bar spins before you take them to a ramp. We're gonna do the exact same motion now, but now we're gonna add the whip. So again, we're gonna keep that front foot planted on the ground right here. We're gonna do a tail whip, and now do a bar spin. So again, we're gonna come up, do a tail whip, and do a bar spin. Now while we're doing this, we want to make sure that we're not kicking the tail up way out there and our bar spin's not all goofy. We want to make sure our tail is right beneath us and the bar spin's right there. Now from here, I want you guys to do as many of these as you can. So I want you guys to really grind them out. Just go one, two, three, six, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we got the motion solid and we're feeling pretty comfortable with the whip bar spins. Trust me, the more you do that step, the better you're going to be at them when it actually comes to doing them in the air. So now we're going to move on to step number four. Now for this step, all we're going to do is just do a tail whip and just keep our front foot off until the very last second. I'll explain why in a little bit why this is actually a crucial step. 
now we're gonna move on to step number five, which is the exact same thing, but all we're gonna do now is just do it with a bar spin. So we're gonna do a bar spin and just leave that front foot off and bring it on as soon as we actually land the bar spin. Now the reason this is a crucial step is because when it comes to actually doing a whip bar in the air or fly out, it's actually easier to do the trick when you do a whip, keep your front foot off, then do a bar spin, and right as you're landing the bar spin, put your front foot back on. Now at first, it might seem weird to leave your front foot off, but trust me, in the air, you'll be able to use your front foot as your balance foot, so if the trick's going a little wonky, you can step off, run it out, and it'll be a good day. I hope you guys are still with me because now it's time to combine steps one through five together to send your very first whip bar. Right now, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of whip bars and slow-mo them down so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing while I'm in the air. While we do this, I wanna retouch on a couple of tips that are really gonna help you guys while doing the whip bar. So for tip one, practice the whip bar motion with one foot on the ground, just like we were doing earlier. Now for tip two, keep your front foot off the deck until the bar is complete. And then tip three, I want you guys to stay level in the air. Now tip four, keep your scooter under you. You combine all these tips together and you're gonna have this whip bar like it's nothing. That's going to do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope most importantly that you guys learned this trick, or at least got one step closer to landing your first whip bar. If you guys did, make sure to tag me on Instagram, or better yet, send me a DM of you landing the trick. I'll shout you out on my Instagram story, just because I'm super hyped that you guys learned from this video. But if you guys like this video, please make sure to go hit that thumbs up down right down there, and then also while you guys are down there, Drop me a comment below and let me know what kind of tricks you guys want to see in the future. I'm always down to make you guys a nice tutorial just like this one so you guys can progress and learn just like we all are. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.